What if I told you that we are so dependent on something, at least indirectly, that the life we are living now won't be possible without it? And you probably might never even heard about it. There are some elements that are used in every technology devices, including smartphones, cameras, hard disks, lights, televisions, even in defense equipment. Simply put, without it, you can't scroll Instagram, watch movies, or even play Fortnite. Are you serious? And these elements are called rare earth metals. Hey everybody, welcome back to Info Chunks. Today, the world is very much dependent on rare earth metals indirectly, but what are they, by the way? Rare earth metals are a group of 17 chemical elements in the earth's crust. Now, you don't have to know their names, but the important thing is they have a specific set of melting, boiling, and chemical properties that makes them irreplaceable. The funny part is, even though they are called rare, they're not actually rare. They are just not found in high quantities in their pure form, rather they are spread across the earth's crust. So it's hard to find and mine them. With the importance and usage of rare earths so high, if I told you that one country maintains a near monopoly in manufacturing and exporting it, you would be like, impossible. And that country is China. China. Their dominance was so strong that at one point they produced 90% of the rare earths the world needed. Even though it had come down to 60% in 2021, it still remains the largest exporter. US imports close to 80% of its total imports from China and Europe about 98%. So that dependence is extremely alarming considering how China can use it to its political advantage. So how did China achieve this? The country has the largest discovered rare earth deposits with 44 trillion tons of reserves. But that doesn't tell the whole story because discovering deposits is just half the process. The real challenge is in mining and processing. Chinese governments have spent years in researching and building labs trying to develop the technology for mining, processing and refining rare earths. They understood the strategic importance of those minerals in the 1980s itself. As a result, they have the highest number of patents for rare earth elements and its related technologies. And that has restricted other countries from advancing in that area. Another important factor is, from the 1990s, China had poor environmental laws which enabled the country to mine freely without any restrictions because the process to obtain rare earths is environmentally destructive and produces radioactive waste. Alongside that, the country developed a strong supply chain of raw materials and finished products which is very hard for other countries to imitate. And using that supply chain, they have strategically made countries dependent on them. And other countries too do not want to get into this rare earths market because it is very costly. So in short guys, China's dominance is a result of years of focused effort and deliberate investment. They have started early, which has left the entire world, even the US, years behind. People didn't care or look into the monopoly that China had until 2010 when Japan arrested a Chinese fisherman because he had sailed into a disputed land. China used its monopoly and stopped exporting rare earths to Japan. That sent shockwaves throughout the world and made every country understand how dependent they were on rare earths and that China can punish any country it wants by controlling the rare earths supply alone. So now the natural question is, what has the world done to catch up to China? Until the 1980s, US was the leader in rare earths. But due to the tickles and hiccups in the USA about the environmental effects, their position in the rare earths industry was affected. The second positioner, China, rose to the top and continued to be the leader. And US wants to take their trophy back from the Chinese. The Biden administration has started a $30 million project to research and bring back the US domestic supply chain for rare earths. The Australian-based company Linus Corporation is one of the companies that processes the rare earths without Chinese help. India was one of the first countries to recognize the importance 
of rare earths. If revived, India would have the fifth largest reserves of rare earths. Turkey also has recently reported that it has discovered the world's second largest deposit of rare earths, but they still need financial and technical help to process it. On the other side, Japan is developing a rare earths supply chain independent of China. I think it's high time the world starts to challenge China's monopoly because if a high-scale trade war starts, China will have a significant advantage and even if a war starts, China can just say, no, I won't give you rare earths. Then US and Europe won't be able to make large-scale defense equipments in which rare earths are an important raw material. So it's necessary for countries to develop independent rare earth supply chains as soon as possible. I hope you liked the video and found it useful. If you did, make sure to hit the like and the subscribe button and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.